Hi peeps, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a great day. Okay, I have decided to make this a two-parter. So if, you, if you're just joining me now and this is, uh, you haven't watched part one of this, to totally understand what I'm doing, part one, to watch part one is probably a good thing, okay? So uh, I'm going to now wipe off this mask that I let, it's been on me for about 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes, well, however much time you have. I let it uh, almost dry. It doesn't dry down to like a clay mask, but it does dry down so that you can actually touch it and it does not transfer. So I have my bowl of water here. I'm just going to moisten my cotton and wring them out. And I'm just going to wipe this off. You can use a microfiber cloth for this, a regular washcloth, whatever you use to wipe things off or you can just stand over the sink and um, rinse it off that way with nice warm water okay not hot water you don't want to use really hot water because you know that causes broken capillaries on the face you really do only want to use tepid or you know lukewarm water and your cotton or your cloth should be soft so that there's not that extra pulling and tugging on your skin my skin feels wonderful, really, really does. Uh, it feels very, um, it doesn't feel tight at all, which is a good thing because we're, we're reducing pore size and moisturizing. And then I'm gonna wipe it off my neck. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more wipe. Okay, get it out of my eyebrows so I don't look like Mrs. Claus. I have to tell you peeps, I've been using the, I'm going to do my review uh, very soon for the Equinol eyebrow. It does work. It, it, it really works. I do have a couple of issues, but that's not due to the product. <laughs> but I'm going to do that review soon. Okay, so I have pretty much, and really be gentle on your eye area. When I watch some videos on YouTube, the way people go at their eyes, I'm like, oh my goodness, you need to be careful. Okay, so that's that. I'm going to take another paper towel because, again, I did not bring a nice soft towel with me. But I'm just going to pat it dry. Okay, now... Sticking with my theme of tightening pores and um, adding moisture back into the skin, I am going to use this mask. I introduced you to these a long time ago, and I did have a peep tell me that they found them online. It is a Korean mask, so I would suggest that anywhere that you can buy the Korean facial mask uh, is where you can find it. I am starting to see them in those... Excuse me, I have a hair... I am starting to see them in those big hair stores in the mall that have just a multitude of things for the body, hair, whatever. And um, it is the ginseng. This one is ginseng. They make like four or five different types in these masks. But this one is uh, ginseng mask pack. It immediately moisturizes and tightens skin. So we want to moisturize, but we're still concentrating on tightening our pores. And why I like these masks is the gin, ginseng extract helps to tighten the pores, pores, but it also has hyaluronic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid draws moisture from the air into the skin. That is important. And then it also has Alentoine, which is a heavy-duty moisturizer, and it has some other uh, pan Panthenol and Trehalose, but it also has shea butter in it. So it really helps to put some moisture back into the skin. So I thought I would just apply this, and it was $4.99. And this is the company Yunji. Yunji, you might want to Google that, or just Google Ginseng Mask Pack. And this is the company that makes it that is packaged by okay so try looking that up you can find them i think they're even more affordable online i believe when uh the peep told me about it she got it for a little less than i actually did okay if you look into the package there's a lot of milky uh solution in there so we want to carefully take that out because we will you it has a strong smell to it not strong but it has a 
It's not a floral, it has a medicinal smell to it, which is fine with me. Okay, so you want to unfold your mask. And it is cut, has little eyes in it and nose. And you want to apply your Jason-like mask <laughs> to your face. And it does have a little nose flap, so let me get that out. I didn't pull that down. Okay. So there is my... Okay. So, you want to really massage all that into the skin. Apply it. Oops. Yeah, you can see me still. Put it around. Now, all of the solution, you want to really push it into your skin, this, this mask, so it stays in place. Now, of course, when I'm talking to you, it's going to be moving all around and popping off. If you're just reading a book or relaxing for the time you have this on, and I would leave this on for 20 minutes or until it's dried, the cloth is dry, and then I would just remove it and wipe the excess into your skin. Now, I'm going to put my hand into the package and get it all over my hand and rub it into my neck. I don't waste anything, peeps. Nothing. Okay, so we're rubbing that into our neck. Okay. So I'm going to leave this on until it's dry. And then come back with my routine that I would do. Can I talk to you a little bit? Let's see. What can we talk about? Oh, I, I know what I'll tell you. I'll tell you about our trip we took to Massachusetts. We went to see Louie's mommy, and uh, Dorothy is 87. She's been in the nursing home, which is a very nice nursing home. Um, well, as nice as her nursing homes can be. But she is, um, she had a stroke about seven years ago, and it left her paralyzed to her whole left side, and uh, she has use of her right uh, side. But, of course, she can't go to the bathroom. You know, she wears, a, uh, you know, something to help her there. She can't get out of bed. She can't walk. She's in a wheelchair. She really can't move around with the wheelchair a lot. She did go into some sort of therapy, but Dorothy uh, is, Dorothy was not the type of personality to put a lot into her rehab. So, she just, she didn't have that desire that, you know, some people go in fighting. And Dorothy's a very happy person. She's a wonderful, 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 bright woman. But she know she also had dementia. We, she was went into a living facility probably about 10 years ago. And then when she had her stroke, she had to go into the uh, nursing home. But anyway, make a long story short, we go and see her a couple times uh, during the summer. The winter months are very hard for us because the weather gets bad along that strip of the highway. So we usually plan to go and see her uh, before the weather gets really bad. And uh, so we take Bindi with us because uh, this is our second time taking Bindi. Uh, she... Um, I usually put her in, in the kennel when we go for the day, and then we usually stay overnight at his brother's and all that kind of stuff. But this, the last time we decided we really didn't want to stay overnight. We wanted to go and see Dorothy, and many people will ask us, why do you, why do, you do that? You know, she doesn't even know who you are. Well, I, I, to me, that is just, I can't even believe that comes out of people's mouths. We know who Dorothy is. She may not remember us, but we, we know who she is. And, um, you know, she didn't, she never forgot about Lou as a child, you know, so how can you do that to your own parent? But anyway, I'm not going on that tangent. Uh, we decided we were going to take Bindi the last time. And when we go see Dorothy, usually she can communicate. Her communication has really uh, gone down. I mean, she doesn't even know what day it is. You know, she, I, she seems to know who the president is, but she never knows what month it is. And stuff like that and it's gotten worse and worse as we've you know visited from time each time we go and uh, the last time when we went uh, we took Bindi with us because the time previous to that Dorothy really didn't remember us she was faking it you know oh yes you're my friend of course I know who she didn't remember what her son did for a living and she's very proud of what he has become in life <clears throat> and she didn't remember any of that so we knew that, you know, for her to forget those special moments that she had really uh, taken a turn 
for the worst. And, you know, Lou has prepared himself that one day she will not even recognize him as her friend. But anyway, uh, she, um, when we took Bindi, well, I got off track there. Uh, so Dorothy usually is, you know, hi. She doesn't really communicate. She just kind of sits there and, you know, she'll look at us when we're talking and she'll say, oh, yeah, you know, that's about it. You don't really get anything else out of Dorothy. Well, when we took Bindi the last time, and you all know that I have a dog who is very, she's a very happy dog, very excitable around people and stuff like that. When we took Bindi, I went inside. Lou stayed outside with Bindi. It was a beautiful day. And I went in and got Dorothy and came back out and uh, we said, this is Bindi. You know, she, she knew who Bindi was years ago. We go, this is Bindi. It is amazing what animals can do for people in nursing homes. Dorothy was leaning forward with the only arm she could, reaching for Bindi. She was smiling. She was laughing. It was very, very beautiful for Lou and I to witness this. First of all, we love our dog and we love Dorothy. So to see what reaction came from Dorothy was so beautiful to watch that we decided that we will never go see Dorothy without Bindi. And Bindi sensed that she needed to be a very calm, good doggy. And she was very, very calm, very peaceful around all of them. She, she let each and every one of them pet her. Uh, it was amazing. It was really amazing to watch, peeps. And so now we take Bindi with us every single time. And this, this time we took her, we had another beautiful day. Uh, she is great on the ride because it turns out to be 12 and a half, 13 hours for us because we drive there and then we drive back. Stop to take a little bit of a nap so Louis can sleep because I don't do any of the driving. He does all of the driving. And uh, I pack all of our food and uh, stuff like that. And we, of course, had to stop from time to time so Bindi could get out, you know, smell the grass and all the wonderful, beautiful smells that doggies like to smell. And uh, it was just really, really nice. And this time was no different. We went. Dorothy was laughing with Bindi and she kept saying, come here, I want to pet you. And Bindi would go over to her and Dorothy would just lay her hand on Bindi and pet her. And it was really, it was beautiful. She looks great. Dorothy looks great. Uh, she's 87. Um, you know, I, I, Lou always feels so bad, but I always tell him, Lou, your mother doesn't know that she's not she doesn't really know that her life isn't really be isn't as full as it used to be. Your mother is very happy uh, where she is, and she is. She's very happy. Uh, all she cares about is having her TV to watch. Everybody loves Raymond, and every episode is a brand new episode for her. And uh, about having her meals brought to her. That's you know she she always when we're there. When uh, where's my lunch? Where's my lunch? And is Raymond on? Is Raymond on? That's. So she's very fulfilled and happy with all of that, and uh, it makes him feel a little bit better. And uh, so that's what we did this weekend. But the little bugger, we loaded up the car at 5 a.m. in the morning, and it, Bindi usually eats her breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. And uh, she, Lou was doing something. I had to run in the house because I always have to make a, a final check of the house. So I run in the house. I wasn't in there any more than two seconds, whatever. So I get in the truck, Lou backs out of the garage, and he says, you want to just take a, a, a moment to think to make sure? He goes, you're, you're really rushed. He goes, you want to make sure you have everything? So I just, you know, I turned around in the back, and I see a plastic bag laying there. And I thought, where did that come from? So I pick it up, and I smell Bindi's dog food. Well, the little runt, bugger, booger, went in, in the moment I ran into the house, she went into her bag that had all her meals for the day and all her snacks, and she took out, luckily it was her breakfast bag, with her medication, because she takes a bone medication for her hips, and she takes um, an allergy pill. So, she took the bag out, ripped it open, and ate her breakfast. Can you believe that? Lou and I were rolling on the car floor laughing. It was so funny to us. It was hilarious. But... <laughs> she knew it too because she went to the back of the truck and laid down and just looked at us. And I said to Lou, Lou goes, you know what's interesting? She took her breakfast bag. She didn't take the lunch and she didn't take the dinner. She took the breakfast. <laughs> this was just so funny to us. But anyway, so that's what we did, um, you know, uh, Saturday. And um, 
it was it was a nice time it, it's always nice to go and see her it's a long ride it's hard on our bodies because we're older um, but to fly we'd have to fly into Connecticut rent a car drive there maybe when we get you know I mean Dorothy could live for a very long time because she's pretty healthy so maybe you know in the years to come you know we will fly but I don't like to fly little planes and from where I live to Connecticut is a little plane and I don't like that so anyway it's it's really I mean it's it's not that bad a trip at this time of year the foliage is beautiful and I tried very hard to film a video for us and uh, I wanted Louie to just talk in the video while he was driving and tell us some things about Massachusetts, the Berkshires, things he did when he was young. He would not do it. He would not talk on my camera. I don't know why. He loves... I mean, Louis by nature is shy. He's, um, he's usually very quiet until he gets to know you and then he's hilarious. He's a very funny man and I always think that people are extremely... that are really funny they are also uh, extremely bright people. And Louie has a very creative, uh, quick um, memory, a uh, mind. And sometimes he's just so funny. He really is. I wish I could share him with you because he's absolutely hilarious. But by nature, he's very shy. And uh, when I first introduce him to people, you know, they, you know, they're like, wow, he's really different than her, because I'm like right out there. But now if you get me on a stage with tons of people, I can't talk. But Lou can go and do a lecture. He can stand in front of people. He can hold business meetings in front of a bunch of people. It doesn't faze him at all. So there's something to that. You know, it's like actors in Hollywood. They can get up there and pretend they're somebody else. And then in the real life, they're really kind of shy and introverted. I find that interesting. It's funny how the mind works, because you know, me, get me on a stage. Now, the, if you've been watching me for a long time, my very first video, I had ventilated practically because I was, I knew there was going to be people out there watching me. But now, because you're all my friends and I love you to pieces, I have no problem. Okay, peeps, so here I am. My mask has been on for a while. It's dried, so now I'm going to remove it. And I'm just going to throw this away because it was an inexpensive. Sometimes the more expensive mask, you can really get two uses out of them because there's so much solution in that bag. So I'm just going to massage this in very lightly. I'm not going to do aggressively massage this in because we've already been massaging our face. So we just want to really work this in. My skin feels wonderful. And I would give this about five minutes to really allow that solution to absorb in to my skin and if you can see the skin looks fabulous it really is not it's as clean as it's ever going to get so we just want to let that you know sit for five good minutes but because for the purpose of the video I'm going to move on and show you what I would do because remember uh, I want to add moisture back into my skin now and of course you will use the moisturizers that are suited for your skin type whether you're oily skin, you're normal to combination, you're normal to dry, you do it according to your skin. So I want to add moisture. This is not my daily routine. This is just for this particular root treatment routine that I'm doing, okay? Uh, I have been using the Embryolise. Joelle sent me this uh, a little while ago, and it's called the Embryoderm. It's for mature skin, and this is actually, they consider this their night cream because it says to use at night, but I am going to use this. I use this when I'm doing this treatment because it's a very, very rich moisturizer. I really do love this. So now what I do, Joelle also sent me this product a while ago that I have been loving, and we've already talked about hyaluronic acid, and uh, that is, I believe, in part one. But anyway, this is a concentrated fluid with hyaluronic acid. It has a lifting effect. It moisturizes and replumps the skin. And it is by this company, it's called Hyaluronic Fluido, fluid, fluid, and it is, the, here's the box. This will probably be easier for my European uh, audience to find and locate. The company is Biocite, and that is the website that you can go to. They have an eye product. They have a, uh, they have a product I've been using on my lip line. It's temporary, but it's amazing how well it works. But anyway, what I will do now is I will just take a small amount of this, and this is the Embryo Lease Cream, 
just a small amount because it's very concentrated. And I'm sure if you go on that French Cosmetics uh, uh, website, they probably have this. Okay, then I'm going to take a squirt of this hyaluronic acid because this cream does not have any hyaluronic acid in it and I'm interested in drawing moisture from the air so hyaluronic acid is a good thing. I'm just going to do a small squirt of that and I blend them together because I am a mad scientist and that's what I like to do. You can apply them separately but I like them together. I'm just going to apply this to my skin and that is going to be I, I'm going to leave this on. I may do this in the morning and then do some housework. But this is usually done on a day that I do not have to leave the house. So that this moisture and everything I've just done really, really has the opportunity to work itself into my skin. And my skin feels fabulous, peeps. I highly recommend doing something like this. If you cannot afford the Dermalogica oil, there are other products online that I think uh, are less expensive. Or just take olive oil out of your out of your your pantry and massage the olive. But the olive oil will do just what that will do as far as breaking down the sebum that gets clogged in the pores, and that is oil and dirt that really enlarges the pores. So take some olive oil, grapeseed oil, any oil, not, not canola, not cooking. You want oils that benefit your skin. Those are the grapeseed oils, jojoba oils. Um, the, um, I, would, I would stick to the olive oils. Olive oil I think would be the best one. Grapeseed oil, avocado oil, any of those. You can use those to really break down. Just massage that area for a good two minutes and then follow along and do some of the things I did. You don't need to have the high-end products. You can use whatever exfoliators you use. If you're using Aveeno, if they have products that do something similar to what I'm doing, use them. Um, Olay is very popular. Very, very popular and is proven to be a very good drugstore skincare line. I myself used Olay and rock before I was able to buy the expensive things. Even when I was working in cosmetics and I had access to a lot of samples or a lot of, uh, you know, they used to give us gratis, I would still use a lot of the pantry items because they do work and I do enjoy them. But, you know, when I was younger and I was starting out in skincare, I was using Olay. I really like rock. Rock has a retinol to it. Now I am trying a product at night that I got in my beauty, uh, my, be my beauty uh, tube, and it is by Neutrogena. It is their retinol product that I read so much about that is supposed to be so fabulous. It did break me out a little bit, but I'm still using it at night uh, because I don't use any other retinol products. So. Use whatever you are using. You don't have to go out and buy all these products. Use what you have, but it's just a way, and, and maybe you have to buy one product, but if you have everything else, then you're, you know, you, just by doing this to your skin, you're going to see. You will see that your foundation will go on better, and if you have somebody that has more of a problem with an oil than I do, you may want to do this twice a month, month instead of just once a month, or maybe three times a month. Just you know, pace them, space them apart so that you're not doing them on top of each other. You know, maybe once a week, you know, find so you don't have to make it so long and drawn out. You can do it all within a half an hour. What's important is that you're breaking down that oil. Okay? I hope that you have all enjoyed this. Please, please, in the comments, leave down if you're using any of these products, leave down what you, if you have oily skin and you have really large pores and you have found something that's working for you, share it in the comments because people read them and it helps. Okay? I hope you all have a great day. I will be back. And don't forget, subscribe. It's an anti-ager. You know it is. Okay? Love you guys. Bisous.